All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again with another episode here on the other side of the coin. style of video today I'm going to be talking about any transfer news I'm not going to be talking about a particular Chelsea player uh, current Chelsea player or you know how we're going to set up next season formation da -de -da -de -da. I'm not going to be talking about anything like that what I'm going to be talking about is a particular individual goes by the name of Alvaro Morata now I've lost complete sympathy for this particular player uh, off the back of a particular you know news that came out in the last 24 hours However, before I get into all of that, I want to look at the whole saga of Morata and why I've reached this particular, you know, stage uh, about this, you know, player. And when he was first announced for Chelsea in the last season of Conte, I was excited. I'm not sure about other fans out there. I was excited. Yes, I probably did want to look up to come back. He probably would have fit our play under Conte a little bit more, but I was still nonetheless very, very excited. And Morata was on the up. He had some fantastic loan loan spells at Juve. Uh, he looked like he was finally getting into the peak. So of course he started. He looked fantastic. He was scoring goals. He looked electric. The pace was there. Yes, he wasn't the typical style of striker that we generally have in the likes of Drogba and Costa. You know, Morata was a lot more thinner. However, had explosive pace. Uh, finishing was great, as I said in the beginning. But as the season went on. You know, you could see, you know, clear-cut chances he was missing, more offsides, you know, where he didn't need to be offside. And you can see, you know, every time he missed an opportunity, a clear-cut opportunity, or when he was offside, his head would dip down, he started getting depressed. You know, fans went after him, media went after him, especially in social media, people went after him. And I was feeling bad because a player, to go through all of that, you know, the, the amount of abuse he was copying was tough. You know, there was there was a journalist in social media that would call him out and, and you know, certain fans, myself, I'd jump in and I'd, I'd, I'd back him. And obviously last season under Sari, once again, the trend continued. He just couldn't be happy. He couldn't finish. And he just didn't feel like being in Chelsea. So, of course, the rumours around Atletico Madrid came around and, you know, initially was alone. And he was desperate. He was desperate to go, and and this was the first time where he he, he tweet uh, not tweeted he he said something in in, in the media uh, to, in a particular interview that you know he he's not happy in Chelsea. Uh, and then he's he's willing to leave, and he wants to he wants to go to Atletico Madrid, and he's begging Atletico to make it a permanent deal and whatnot, so on and so forth. And I thought, okay, fair enough, you know, you've copped a lot of abuse, you've, you've gone through mental stress, which no one uh, needs to go through. And, you know, 100%, I don't like when fans go after a particular player in that manner and, and severely affect them mentally. So I was like, okay, fair enough, you know, you've said what you've had to say, probably didn't need to because that kind of information in the media just ignites fans again. Anyway, nonetheless, it happened. He finally got his opportunity and he left last season uh, midway through, which ended up becoming a permanent deal anyway. Uh, initial loan spell and then uh, permanent after the loan spell. So happy days for him. We've moved on. He tweeted something that, you know, I can finally be happy once again, triggering the fan base when it was not needed. Fast forward all of that, you know, he's, he's played for Atletico now. Our situation, our sort of involvement with Morata, it's 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 now time has lapsed, you know, we've moved on. However, in the last 24 hours, he comes out and he says it was unfortunate that he had to wear the Chelsea jersey and Real Madrid jersey before you know he joined back to Athletic Madrid, which was his boyhood club.
And this is where now I have a problem. This particular player has gone through all of that abuse uh, in social media, and I'm sure he probably copped it face to face as well. And, you know, he's gone through all of that mental stress. However, he still comes out and he says it was unfortunate that he wore the Chelsea jersey. You know, talk about utter disrespect for a club. You know, talk about burning your bridges. You know, you've had what you've had. You, you didn't have a good time at Chelsea. You don't now need to go out there and, and really, really... Put, put more fire into this situation and it's not required because now what's going to happen is the fans that actually were backing you back then like myself is now looking at you and thinking what an idiot you are for saying that kind of stuff because you know that just shows how immature and naive you are as a person so you know I've got no you know, I, I, can't, I can't give any excuse anymore here. If fans, after reading that particular report, which was, you know, reported by Sun, I don't really read Sun, but it was an interview. Uh, it was a quote directly from Morata saying he's, he, it was unfortunate that, that, that he had to wear the Chelsea jersey. You know, fans are going to go after him now. And, and unfortunately, he's going to have to accept it. What's going to be even worse is off the back of this interview that he's had, if he now comes out and says, oh, I'm getting abused again and I'm mentally upset again. No, it doesn't work that way anymore. You need to know when to say what to say. And there's consequences of things that a player says. So, you know, there's been plenty of players before that have played for us and, you know, they've left clubs and played for other clubs. They haven't necessarily said anything bad about us. You know, yeah, sure, every now and then they might say a small little thing here and there that they might not have enjoyed or whatnot, but they don't repeatedly uh, try and make their their former club uh, look like idiots. So, Alvaro Morata, you know, know your audience, know what you're saying. Don't just stupidly say anything because it will come back and it will haunt you. And that would be... Very, very unfortunate. See ya.